what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? I'm gonna be showing you how to paint up a Vampire Count's Banshee. Is that what they're called? Tomb Banshee is the new name. Sorry, I had to just look at the clamshell package for a second. So, put her together and I primered her white. The first step I did was I painted all of her robes and I'm also gonna paint all of her skin, like her arms, her face, and her hand, the hand holding the, the knife. I'm gonna paint all of that, even the underneath, under layer of her, of her skirts. I'm gonna paint all that with Astronomicon Gray. Okay, and that's the first layer we're gonna paint. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to paint her hair with Macrite Red. So, hair Macrite Red, all the skin, and all of the cloth, Astronomicon Gray. Let's see when that's done. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to paint her armor, her corset actually, and her high collar, her Batman collar, and the back of her armor. We're gonna paint that with Chaos Black. So you just get your Chaos Black right here, and you don't want it to get too thick because there's some lot, there's some really great detail, and we're gonna be edge highlighting the corset in just a little while to make it look like this one on the model. <clears throat> but you do need to get the black on there. So the collar and the armor piece that she's wearing. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, so now that that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Bad at Black wash and we are going to paint in paint it into the hair as well as the face like into the mouth into the recesses and we are going to get all the shading done with the hair and the face and then we'll start highlighting those when we're done with that okay see you in a second Alright, so now that we can see what we're working with shadow-wise, we're going to give the rest of the model some shadows, but we're going to give them, sh give her these shadows through the use of Hawk Turquoise, rather than the Bad Ad Black. The Bad Ad Black is great for picking out the details on the face, but as you can see from the box art, she's got a lot of these ethereal blues on the sleeves, on the hands, and not so much in the face area. So. You're just going to take your hot turquoise, water it down, and you're going to do a glaze, which means heavy water, a lot of water, not too much paint, so that the pigment really spreads out, and you want to make sure it gets all into these folds and into these, into the recesses. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that looks like when we get back. Alright, I was a little bit generous <laughs> with the hot turquoise, so... That's going to make it a little bit harder to paint back up. I didn't water it down as much as I should have. And also because it's on a white undercoat, you'll notice that the, the blue really sticks and pops more than it would have. But that's okay because what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Astronomicon Gray and we're going to lightly, we're going to water it down and we're going to lightly feather it up to rebuild this ghostly shine. So you want it to be almost 60-40, 60% of Astronomicon Gray feathered on and 40% of this blue color in the deep recesses and the shadows. So can you notice how the hand and the fingers are that ghostly white and you really see the shadows deep in the cloak. So, so this is good because it shows you where you want to target and now you just have to hit those spots on the model. Okay, that's Astronomicon Gray on all the skin and all the, all the cloth. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like when we get back. Alright, so this is much better. I just thinned down the paints, painted the turquoise into the shadows, feathered up with the, de not the denim stone, with the Astronomicon Gray, and it looks a lot nicer than, than it just did. So that's how you do that. 
Next we're going to paint some bolt gun metal onto the blade of the dagger and we're also going to paint the, the, the hilt, whatever this cross guard is, bolt gun metal as well as the, the back. Basically the whole dagger we're going to paint bolt gun metal just so it'll stand out because if you do any kind of color it'll, it might blend into the hair. I was thinking of doing maybe like a dark purple or, or a blue, but then either way, the color wouldn't stand out as much. So, bolt gun metal for all of that. And then you're going to do a, a blood red, and you're going to highlight the strands of the hair as much as, as, much as you want to go. <clears throat> so some people might want to do a little bit more, some people would want to do a little bit less, but we're going straight to blood red on the hair and bolt gun metal on the dagger. So we'll see you when that's done. Alright, so now we're gonna finish the highlights on the hair with blazing orange. Blazing orange on the front. Find the places where the light will hit the hair and that's where you want to paint a little bit of blazing orange. Maybe mix in some blood red with that so the contrast isn't so stark. And we'll see you when that's done. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the armor, or the corset, whatever you want to look at it. And if you look at the clamshell, it looks like it's got these non-metallic browns and, and whites on it. So, what I think, what I think will work is Games Workshop Vomit Brown as a base. If you don't have this, Snakebite Leather will work, or desert yellow, something something that looks like the, the darker, creamy colored brown. So once we highlight that, don't forget to also hit the, the edges of the bat collar that she's wearing. Then we're going to highlight that up with bleached bone. Okay, so I'm going to do that now on my figure and we'll see what it looks like when I get back. Alright players, this is the end of it. I based my model with, I painted the rim first of all, Camry Brown, and then I painted the molded details on. I used the same recipe that I used for my Great Taurus, which is all black, and then highlighted up with some browns, and finally then up stone, and then I did the, the bigger rocks in gray. And oh, I see a little bit of brown, I gotta touch up on the bottom of her skirt but that's all right. I also put in some scorched grass. And yeah, and she's done. As you can see, I'm really pleased with her. I'm really pleased with the model. It's great, it's really evocative. Yeah. Scary. And um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys found some easy inspiration. If you have this model yourself, please leave me some comments and don't forget to hit the like button before you leave. And we'll see you in the next one.